everybody, this is Amethyst to the once again, and um, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, if you've been here before, if we are familiar faces, then uh, nice to see you again. Okay, so now this is going to be, this, this video is going to be about something very important. This is about how powerful spells can be when you do them according to the energy of the moon. Now there's the wax, there's spells to do on the waxing moons, there's spells to do on the waning moons, and there are spells to do on full moons. The best spells are full moon spells. Today is June 5th. Tonight is going to be a strawberry moon. And it is a very, very powerful moon phase. A very good time to do things like love spells you know especially self-love spells if you've been feeling some type of way inside though that's also a good spell you know to have or to do okay and you know and you're probably wondering why people pay witches to do spells for them well you pay a witch to do your spells because Witches, they understand the energies of the universe, they understand the energies of the moon, they understand energies that you may not understand as a person who doesn't really work with that kind of things or with those kind of things and you just want someone else to do it because you may feel more comfortable with them doing it because a lot of dangers come with working with different spirits, different energies, doing certain spell works, you can bring certain things into your life, just like working with sigils. Just recently I posted a sigil, it was a money attraction sigil. It's not a sigil that I use personally, but it is a sigil that people use. I think it's a viking symbol or something. I just like to post pictures of sigils because they're beautiful and sigils are so interesting like just markings that carry all this power and and just it's just power and you use these sigils and you put them under your candle or under whatever your candle is on top of to bring more power and more energy to the spell it's all about energy that's why we use crystals during spell work the fire is the most is the most powerful of the spell and anyone who has a fire element and they're doing spells. I have I have two fire signs in mine. My I'm Sagittarius and then my moon is in Pisces and then my rising is Scorpio. So I have two fire and one water. So when I do spells the the fire is the most important part of all that. And I, I do like doing spell work. It is good but you need to be careful of what types of spells you do. I don't do dark work. I don't do miscarriage spells. I don't do breakup spells. I don't do any of that because I feel like it comes with a lot of negative energy if you don't protect yourself the right way. I do have protection symbols tatted onto my body um, and it does keep me protected, but I still do not do dark work because different things can come with dark work. I got a symbol tattooed onto my body um and the goddess that that tattoo represents or the goddess that that sigil is for she is a very powerful goddess and having that on my body the first few weeks or few months it was rough so you really need to be careful when it comes to those sigils okay and i tell people this all the time so anyways back to what i was saying in the post Everyone was asking me, you know, how to use this and, you know, and to be honest, I didn't really, I don't really, I don't use that. I don't use that. Um, it was a money sigil, but if I ever do do a money spell, the one loa that I work with is, as far as voodoo, um, is Dambala Wido. That is a good sigil. It's actually a pretty sigil. It's beautiful. It's actually called a vivid. And so that's the one that I use if I do do money spells or I use my own sigils that I create because it's good to make your own sigils, especially if you're a witch who's been practicing this for a while, practicing this for a while, sorry, 
it's a good to create your own, to have your own energy because we all have our own personal energies and our own personal powers. Okay? So, the lunar energy is good to use when doing spells because under certain moon phases, it brings more energy to the spell and the universe manifests whatever you're trying to get done. So, if you are doing a... Say you're doing a personal spell, like a personal growth spell or just something within. There are so many spells that you can do for yourself. And it's crazy because I don't get many clients who want to do spells for, myself, for themselves. Like, oh, I want to be smarter or I want to develop in this area or I want to be able to grow from this or I want to heal from this. Not many people, you know, look for that. I mean, some people look for money spells, which is good. For themselves because they're focusing on getting money but then there's other people who's all like and I'm not saying they're wrong for this I'm just saying some people okay for example there was this girl who contacted me who wanted a love spell and she said that she had a boyfriend and she just wanted him to be more loving more more sweet to her more open-minded just more affectionate and just show her some more love actually act like he cares but, you know, maybe he's just a stoic. Maybe maybe he doesn't like her as much as she thinks. Maybe, I don't know. But you can't, you can't force a change in people. I do do spells like that. I do. But I'm just saying certain situations. It's like you need to put things into perspective. All right? But I still was willing to help her because I know what it's like to want someone to show more affection to you and it is possible to have that i don't do love spells to where it's like they broke up with me and i want them to come back now i want them now no i don't do spells like that because it's it's fucked up it's unrealistic like if they left you they left you for a reason and it's either a time for you to give them space because they need time away from you maybe some time to miss you or maybe it's just over, all right? You can't want somebody who doesn't want you back. And so many people want people who don't want them. I can't love somebody who, who doesn't love me back because that that's some pain that you don't want to go through. That's, that's, that's torture. Who would want to go through that? Trying to chase somebody. And, and women, women, ladies, you should never chase a man because the... The sperm goes to the egg, not the other way around. We don't chase. They're supposed to chase us. And then we synchronize. All right? We come together if the chemistry is right. Okay? Do not chase men. It's as a woman, as a woman, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. I had to say it. But as a woman, don't chase a man. You know, unless... If you really, really, really love him and you really, really miss him and y'all have like this crazy connection and you love each other and you did something wrong and you want to go to him and apologize and say that you are sorry, that's a different situation. But if a man is saying, you know what, it's not working out, I'm going to go, boom, head out. He heads out and then you go chasing after him, ringing up his phone all day, every day. Just being all just desperate, that's unattractive and it pushes them away. And that's why I give certain instructions when I do spell work because the women, they are so desperate to get what they want out of this spell work that they, that they hinder their own working life. I try and I say, I say, don't do this, don't ring them up, give them some space, just don't. And they do it and then... They're upset with the results. Do you, what, what man wants a woman who is just on him all day, every day? Don't let him have no space. Men like space. Men need space. Clingy women make them feel suffocated. All right? No one likes to feel suffocated. Everyone needs their space, you know? And... If you are clingy like that, you do not need to be in a relationship because you will cling on to that person. If y'all break up, it will be the worst pain you have ever felt in your life. I, trust me. So, <clears throat> lunar energies. Lunar energies is good to use during spell work. 
alright? Uh, I'm going to do more videos like this also and don't worry I will complete the palmistry series I always bring that up because I don't want y'all to think that I'm forgetting about the palmistry series that is my priority alright it's my priority you don't need to remind me I remind you I remind you of my promise alright so thank you for watching this I hope it was informative I hope it sparked some interest in you know maybe getting some work done maybe contacting me like I said, my contact information is below. Please subscribe. Help my channel grow. Grow with me. See what other things I have to talk about. See what other knowledge I have to put out there. And uh, as for the men, I'm so sorry for so many ladylike subjects. I just don't know what else to talk about. But if you are a man and you made it this far in the video, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'm impressed. Alright, so goodbye. And... Uh, Yes, like, comment, leave your, leave your, uh, leave your opinion in the comment section, please. This is Amethyst Tuesday, wishing you well from afar. Goodbye.